when you're creating PDFs, you're actually converting other documents and resources to portable document format. Now, there are usually several techniques for creating PDFs, and it often depends on the type of file you're using and what you want the PDF to accomplish. And a PDF is actually a balance between different features. For example, uh, file efficiency, how fast is it, will it open up quickly in a web, versus quality, is it have high resolution and color control for print, and even some functionality. For example, does it have bookmarks for navigation? Does it have tags for accessibility? And there's often a lot of features or factors that you're balancing when you're creating that PDF. Now, when you want to use some of the default settings and default optimization, you can use a lot of the simple built-in tools for creating PDFs right in Acrobat. When you need a little more control over that conversion process, then you'd be going to the authoring application that the file was built in and using different print and export commands for converting those files. In this lesson, we're going to explore some of the simple, quick ways of creating PDFs using tools right in Acrobat itself. So let's get started. When I open up Acrobat, I can see I've got my welcome menu here, and it actually has some options for creating some PDFs in different formats. I also have a big giant create button. Sometimes people call it the create menu because it has a menu of options when you click on it. And you could even use the file menu and easily create some PDFs. And one of the easiest ways to create a PDF is from a file. So I'm here in Acrobat, I, I choose create PDF from file, and it allows me to take any particular file and create it. So for example, I have a Word file here, and I can open it up and just by double clicking on it, and this, sim this tool right here is telling me that Adobe is going to use some of the preset options for creating that PDF. And it might take a few minutes, just depends on how big the file is and what um, types of content is inside of it. But here I go, I got this nice easy PDF and I can tell from the title bar it has a .pdf and I could simply save it or if I didn't really want to use it, I could actually close it. And I'm going to go ahead and close this for now and I won't save it. But that's an easy way of creating a PDF. Now, in addition to creating PDFs from file, we also have an option for creating a PDF from scanners. And this actually has been around for a while, but there's a few new features that are available in the Acrobat X environment. So, for example, this auto-detect color mode means that if you're scanning a file that has both black and white and color, then Acrobat can choose for you depending on what it's scanning. Otherwise, you can choose to scan just in black and white or in full color. And some other options when you're working with the scan is that you do have some options for scanning with to directly to OCR. OCR simply means using optical character recognition so that scans can be scanned with searchable text already built in, in intact so that you don't have to do that extra step as a, as a second step. Now, I'm not, I don't have a, a scanner set up here, so I'm not going to scan, but I'll go ahead and create from file. Here's a file that was scanned in as a TIFF file, and I'll go ahead and open that up. And in this case, I'm using a two-step process for turning this into a PDF as opposed to directly scanning it into a PDF. That would have been an option as well. I'll go ahead and close that out. Now, you also have options for creating PDFs from web pages, and so there are different shortcuts for setting that up. And then another option is creating a PDF from a clipboard. That's your copy and paste tool. So I could move directly to a file, and let's say I wanted to have this chart, and I could select the information and copy it. And this gets stored on the Windows clipboard. And then when I come back here to Acrobat, I can create a PDF from what I had copied. It's a really nice way of capturing information into a PDF format. And another tool that's similar, I'm going to come here to a document, and so I have this option here and I decide that I want to create a PDF of this. And there's lots of tools, but one option is using the print screen, and so that would be a, a key on your keyboard, and that actually takes a copy of this entire screen, whatever you have, and then when you go back into Acrobat and you create a PDF from the clipboard, it's actually printing that screen and turning it into a PDF that then you could save or send to somebody else. Definitely some nice options in there. 
um, similar to this whole feature of creating a PDF with the, with the browse and the clipboard, when you're in your folder environment, you can actually create a PDF using some uh, drag and drop options and some right click. So if I right click on this image, you'll notice I have features to convert to Adobe PDF. Or I can right click on Word, convert to Adobe PDF. And because it's Word, I have a couple other options. I have this option to create to PDF and email it. So it emails it as an attachment. And here's another option in there. Uh, I'm going to go to this folder with logos. I have lots of different logos in here. And they are different formats, some Illustrator and some TIFF files. You can see the different types in there. Another option is you can actually drag files into the Acrobat window. So I have here a ping file, which is a type of image. And I can drag it directly into my Acrobat window. Give it a moment. And it creates a PDF. You can see there's a PDF file. Go ahead and no. And let's go back here to these files. Um, alternatively, you could take this file and you could drag it onto the icon. So if your Acrobat wasn't expanded, you could drag an icon and then pull it back up. So you can see it's on the icon. Now, I don't want to drop it here because that's going to actually just pin it to my task pane. But I drag it back up because that will actually maximize the window. And then you can create a PDF that way. So those are some really shortcut options for creating PDF. Well, one more thing to explore when you're creating PDFs, another option here is to combine several files into a single PDF. And these could be files that are already PDFs, or they could be files that haven't yet been converted. And first of all, you're going to get this dialog box to combine files. And some of you might call this merging files. And we'll go ahead and add files. We can either add files or folders. You can notice some of the same options for gathering content. I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Files. And I'm going to start with some files that are already set up as PDFs. So I'm going to go here to a folder that has some documents in it. And we're going to take these files. I'm just selecting them. And I didn't have to select all of them. I just used my Shift key to select a range of them. And you can see they show up in a range. And it's pretty much the way I want because it's alphabetized. But I could move up or down. Or I could even remove a file if I decide I didn't want to have it in that mix. And it's going to take these PDFs and simply combine them into a single PDF. Go ahead and click on Combine Files. I like that feature. And now I have a file that's over 100 pages as opposed to individual files. And you can see how all those elements are moving through. Let's take a, a look at this one more time, this time using some files that don't actually that aren't actually converted yet. So I'm going to go ahead and add some files. And I'm just going to navigate back up. And I've got some files that I want to put together. So here's a few files. So I'm going to go ahead and open those. And if I decided, oh, I'm missing a file, I can easily go back and add another file in. Here's a welcome page. In fact, I could even go to a different folder if I want to navigate. I'll just stay with this welcome page. And I could move it up. Now. When I'm bringing these in, they're not yet PDFs, and so I have a few options for how I'm going to convert them. At the bottom where it says File Size, I can choose to use the standard defaults. If I were going to put this on the web, I could use a smaller file size. And if there were some high quality image resolution and perhaps some color settings that I want to preserve for a high quality print, I could actually use the print option. But usually in a, with a scenario using Office products, then this middle option is, is works just great. Another thing that to be aware of is that if these files had several pages, I can do a couple options um, down below, for example, choose pages. Now, each of these files, as it happens, is actually very short. And I don't really need to do much customization. So all pages will be the equivalent of one page. But you can see the option in there of, of the range. And when it's using Excel, instead of working with pages, you have the option of customizing or choosing which sheets you want to work with. So that's definitely a handy option there. I'm going to just keep the defaults as they are. Looks good. Maybe I'll move the, actually, let's go ahead and move that one down so that it's related to the feature with leave. And we'll go ahead and combine the files. 
And you can see what's happening here is that not only are the files being combined, but they're also being converted. You can see at the top. So each one is being converted. And since these are fairly small files, it's a fairly quick process. If you wanted to convert a lot of files, and especially large files, even if they're Microsoft Office files and there are several pages, it's probably better to first convert them as PDFs and then you can combine them after the fact. Kind of like how we did with the, the, the large 100 page document in there. Looks like it's almost finished. And as it's finishing up, it's going to give us an option to see the information. I'll go ahead and take a look at the page thumbnails. And I can scroll through and I can see that they're in the order that I want. Now again, these are some very simple ways for creating PDFs. However, if you need some more features or more control over that conversion process, then you'd be opening up the file in its authoring application and printing directly to PDF or using some of the export tools. But hopefully you found some great tricks for creating those quick PDFs when you need them in a hurry.